So, hi everyone, it's Mikey and Joanna here again. Mikey, from here, what are we going to make today? Do you know? You, you're painting a box now. But what are we going to make? We're going to use the salt dough again. So we prepared it already. So we have it all ready here. What did we use, Mikey, again for that salt dough, for mixing that? Uh, salt, water and flour. Yeah, salt, water and flour. So, we got that ready, all mixed up. One time my mum laid me eat one. Mm-hmm. Made me eat it. No, you wanted to try it. I didn't make you eat it. You wanted to try it. And it was very salty, wasn't it? Yeah. So, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be measuring as well. So, we're going to be doing sculptures, figurines. One of my Roblox characters. Of, yes, Mikey's Roblox character. One of them. Which is a different one of them. Where's the boy? And we're going to be using a ruler for measuring. Mikey, so what are we going to be measuring in? Centimeters or inches? Centimeters? Yeah, we're going to be measuring in centimeters. So you're going to do the measurement in, in a minute. And I'm just going to show you the examples, what we've done so far. So this is, oh, is it my key pigman? Zombie pigman. Zo zombie pigman. So last time when we done Minecraft class, what was it? Um, somebody wanted to make that. I didn't even know what zombie pigman is so very yeah, embarrassing better. yeah so very embarrassing you guys should know in if you play minecraft yeah exactly you make an ever portal with obsidian and flint and steel yeah so now i know and not only that i measured it with the ruler and also i made one now so there it is there is the zombie pigman zombie made out of salt though Chaos. then that was already yeah. cooked in the oven yeah. and painted. So there it is. So I put it this one there. Then another one which I made was with play doh, just in case. Made it to kind of like flower out of Mario game as well. And then there is a creeper. So I made some measurements as well of the creeper in centimeters because that's what I got time now to do. So we wanted to make creeper, but Mikey wanted then more to do his character, one of the Roblox character. Mikey, so I know you're doing the box as well. Okay, Mikey's doing painting a box as well over there. So we don't probably need so much salt though. Mikey, would you like to roll it or you want me to roll it for you? Mikey? Huh? Do you want me to roll or you yeah. roll it? Okay. So could you measure how tall is your character in centimeters? Mikey, could you measure that please? How tall is he? First I thought it was 16 because the, the mouse is on top of his head. Okay. Yeah, I think it was like on 13, I suppose. 13 centimeters, yeah? yeah? 13. Okay, so I need to also make shape. Seven. So my slab needs to be 13 centimeters as well. Go so mine is a bit taller. Whoa, it's blue. The blue looks good. So I need to cut some. And I'm just going to use the uh, ruler. That looks like a purple. To cut it. Okay, Mikey. So, I'm from that point. Painting. So that's what Mikey did so far. He had the line showing that how tall it is. But now... From end of this hand, Mikey, have a look. From end of this hand to this hand, Mikey, have a look. 
from this point to this point, how many centimeters can you see? Mikey, from this point to this point, how many centimeters? We need to just do this. Again. We need to do this first. So have a look. I already know. I just want you to double check. So that I already know. So I need to do this a little bit wider. Mikey, so you painted the box. Mikey, no, still have this side now. could you just tell me from this point to this point how many centimeters it is? Mikey, from this point to this point, how many? Ten. Ten, Ten centimeters. So I need to do ten centimeters there as well. Yeah. So double check, do, am I still 13 centimeters? No, because I rolled it out a little bit. So 13. Comma. And 10. There. Lovely. Well, we can wash that in a minute. So, for now, we looked how tall is our character and then how wide is our character as well. So, there it is. Our slab, 10 on 13 centimeters. So, now, it's all the fun part, which is getting all of the measurements like how big is the head how big are the arms how long are the legs mikey so what shall we start with with legs i've been painting but it needs to dry and then i can do the bottom bit okay and then i can put the box inside after that that Bye. looks really cool leave it to dry then your know. box you leave it to dry just tell me quickly those legs how long are those legs how many centimeters? Four centimeters. Four centimeters. So, shall we just write here on the paper so we remember legs are four centimeters. It's not as a um, real one because I, I like really big so I cut like, I straighten myself up. Yeah. Okay, so from, from that point to here, so which is his t-shirt, how many centimeters is there? What do you think? His t-shirt. Yeah, to the top of his t-shirt. Kind of like in the middle of the six. Yeah, so that it's would that be of, five and a half? It's kind of like here, yeah, five and a half. So, oh, bye. Bye. are you off now, Mikey? Yeah. Okay, bye. see ya. So we got five centimeters, so at the moment... I got more white paint. Oh. At Wait, the moment, you see, using, I'm just good? doing dots, marking oh, where will legs start and where will t-shirt start. No, it's not. Now, are you going to do the head as well? Because some of that head, you see there, goes on the t-shirt as well. So I'm just going to measure it. So again, it's four and a half. So I know from here, I need to do to measure four and a half. And I'm doing that in the middle. So I kind of marked this point there, like a, like a chin. So I marked this. What are you doing? And then I'm going to check. How big is this head? So three centimeters and like three millimeters as well. Okay. 
So now I don't. I can cut the bits that I'm not going to need. We just there and there. And there. And there. So slowly, sorry, I'm getting starting to get that shape with those measurements that I need. So I know these gonna be legs somewhere there. I can mark them. And it is more tricky with this one, with the arms coming like that on the angle. So I'm just going to see how far is this point, which is the end of our slab, to the t-shirt there. How far is this? three centimeters so mark it there is it the same on the other side yes it is okay so we know that this is gonna be the top And now I'm going to do the arms. So the arms itself, they are two centimeters, which means we've got the one centimeter gap. So let's double check with that. Yes. So this gap there is one centimeter and then that's going to be two. So I'm just going to do the gap. So I know these are going to be my arms there. into a wall. Oh no. He ran into a wall, broke, and one of its, two of its wheels are. Mikey, this is so, the more one. Mikey, so the character, Mikey, 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 could you tell us more about this character? Okay. So what, what is this character? Um, so you can basically pick skins. Okay. You don't, I think you get the name, but I don't remember what it was called. Okay. So now I started to kind of work it out. Where do the hands start? But then I want to check the top. So I have the points of the head. Which ones are this one? But now I need to know for the arms. How big are these arms there? Like one, one and a half. Because that's going to be the end of my arm now. So one and a half. One and a half. So now I know, because this is on the angle, I can cut there, and it should match. Lovely. I'm sure how it looks so far. So it takes a little bit of time to make that all of these measurements. It's a good fun, especially Mikey now, he needs to practice measuring in centimetres. So that's why I thought it would be a good activity to still make something creative, but learn as well. But he's not so much interested, although he is good at it. He's just got something else going on at the moment. 
So that's how I'm going to carry on now until I'm happy with the shape and the, uh, and the size. I What I also did, just so I know, I printed out the side of my piece character and also the back of the character as well because when I will finish, I will put that in the oven for over an hour because it is quite thick this pigment was over an hour in 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 there but it is nice nice and hard now so i'm gonna put it in and then we're gonna paint it and because we have all of the angles we will know what to do so that'll be it i think because no point me watching no point me showing you how to do it because you know you got the idea and please have to try it and hopefully all your mini makers will be more interested in doing all the measurements uh, see you soon bye stay safe <laughs>